ओके सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद अ डिस्कशन अबाउट शेयर इशू वी हैव spoken about how a company issues shares and the purpose of shares is that a company wants to raise financing this replaces the sole trader's capital or the partner's contribution share is basically the money that a company would raise in order to run the business expand the business etc all right but now let's also discuss how the accounting for share issue is done and how these share issues are recorded all right B- just before that uh, let me quickly recap whenever a company is formed they would write down their authorized share capital so all companies would have their authorized share capital which is the maximum number of shares they are allowed to raise and their issued share capital would be the actual amount raised all right so our focus will be on issued share capital that's the actual amount of shares issued and the money that has been raised all right so our job over here is to understand how to record for these shares and how to account for it so so let's first understand that okay so let's take a look at an example let's say a company says that they have an authorized share capital of 200000 shares of 1 dollar each which means that the maximum a company can issue is 200000 shares and each share is worth $1 now what is $1 if you guys remember i had explained this earlier that $1 represents the par value of the share so whenever the share was issued it had a par value written on it that's $1 that's the original value of the share now the company has issued 100000 shares so they've offered 100000 shares in the market and let's say people have purchased these shares at $1.3 each Now the reason why the share is being sold above its par value is that the company's shares must have a demand which is why the price has gone up. Now over here you guys should realize the first thing that we have made a profit which is also called your share premium. So that's 1.3 minus 1 0.3 is our profit over here. All right which goes to a reserve called share premium. I've discussed share premium in detail in the previous videos. So our share premium over here is zero point three dollars per share. That's the gain that we have made on issuing our shares. Okay, now how do we account for this? So what will be the double entry to record this transaction? Okay, so if I were to make a double entry over here, I would do the following. I would say, how much would go into my bank account? Now remember, bank is your asset. So if money flows into your bank account, it should be recorded on the debit side. so i can say i've raised 100000 shares and each share was sold for 1.3 dollars which means that 100000 into 1.3 130000 directly flows into my bank account so bank should be debit over here all right that's the money coming into my bank account okay now how do i record this in my equity section or in my capital section so what i can say is let's first record the original value of the share or the par value so i will say the number of shares issued should go to my ordinary share capital account so my ordinary share capital which is 100000 shares of 1 dollar were issued since is its capital capital should be credited in nature i will say 100000 should be credited because i've raised 100000 shares that goes to my ordinary share capital account now i'll separately record the premium that i've made on these shares so i will credit my share premium account remember share premium is a reserve which is also part of your equity so it should be credited in nature so i can say on these 100000 shares I made a gain of zero point three dollars per share, so that's a gain of thirty thousand dollars. What you guys should notice that this one point three, I've broken this down into the par value, that's the original value, and the share premium. All right, so always break up the value of your share into the par value and the share premium. You guys should always note that the share value issued, the issued value, will always be made up of par. plus premium your premium can be zero but the issued value has to be equal to par all right so it cannot go below the par that's how each share will be written down over here so whenever we issue a share we should record it separately the value raised into your bank account 
the number of shares issued into your ordinary share capital account and any premium made should be recorded in your share premium account. That's how a basic share issue is recorded. All right. Now, once we have understood this, let's move forward and understand the different types of shares that a company can issue. Okay. Now, besides the basic share issue, which we've discussed a lot in detail, another type of a share issue that a company can make is called a rights issue. Now, what is the rights issue? First, you guys need to understand this, that whenever a company will go out to raise shares, they will, they will first have to conduct different road shows. They will have to convince different investors to buy their shares and hire an investment bank. And that usually takes a good amount of time. It can take a couple of months or even a year as well, just to issue shares. Now let's say the company wants to go for quick financing. They would want to raise money quickly without going through that hassle of going to the public. So one way how they could raise that money is by, by something called a rights issue. Now what happens under a rights issue? What will happen is that a company will go to its existing shareholders. All right. So people who already have your shares, you will go back to your existing shareholders and you will ask them that you would want to raise additional shares and you would want your existing shareholders to to buy these shares from them. Now the next question is this, why will your existing shareholders buy it from you? The only reason they will buy it from you if you offer them a discount on these shares, but this discount is compared to the market price, not the power value, but the market price. So you guys should understand that once the share has been issued, it's usually traded on the stock market. What is the stock market? So let's say once I buy a share, from the company. Now I want to sell that share so I can go to the stock market and like sell it to any other individual who's willing to buy that share. So the price on that stock market is called my market price. All right. Now the only reason why a shareholder and my existing shareholder will buy this additional share from me is if I will offer these shares at a discount compared to the market price. So existing shareholders will have a right, Again, it's a right. So if let's say a shareholder does not want to buy, they will refuse to buy it. And you guys can see usually companies are offering right issue every day to existing shareholders because that's a quicker way to raise financing. So it's a right to buy and you can deny if you do not want to purchase these shares. Alternatively, what, sh what shareholders can do is once they've purchased these shares on right issues, they can also sell it in the stock market and make a profit out of it. All right. So you can, let's say, buy this share at a discount from the company and then sell it in the stock market to any other individual. And as a result, what will happen is you will make a profit. So this way companies are able to raise financing. They're able to raise money without going through the general share issue requirement. All right. So that's called a rights issue. Now let's first understand that how do we record rights issue? What accounting should we do for this rights issue? Okay. So let's take a look at this example. A company has existing hundred thousand dollars worth of ordinary share capital. First thing to notice that this denotes the par value. The par value of the share is $1. All right. So each share is for $1 and the company has hundred thousand dollars worth of ordinary share capital. Now the company announces a one for four rights issue. What does that mean? One for four rights issue means that if an existing shareholder has four shares, they will have the right to buy one new share at a price of $1.25. Okay. Now many times people get confused that 1.25 is not a discount, but this discount is with respect to the market price. So on that date, the market price was $2. Now in our accounting world, we do not need to worry about the market price. All right. So market price is just for comparison. Now this issue was fully subscribed. So we're assuming that all shareholders subscribe to this right issue and they accepted this. So they bought these shares. The right is one for four. So let's say if an existing shareholders has eight shares, they can buy two new shares. If they have hundred shares, they can buy 25 new shares. If they have 500 shares, they can buy 500 divided by four. So all you have to do is just divide it by four. Okay. Now how do we record this right issue? So we will record rights issue in 
three simple steps and you guys need to understand these three steps. The first step is we need to figure out the existing shares. How many shares has the company issued currently? So what we'll do is we'll take the dollar value of our ordinary share capital and we'll divide it by the par value to understand the number of existing shares. So I will say if I have $100,000, which is the case over here, and the par value of the share is $1, I will say this company has 100,000 shares at the moment, all right? So this company currently has issued 100,000 shares. That's the issued shares up till now. That's the first step. Okay, once you have your existing shares, you can now offer the rights issue. What's the offer over here? So the offer is 144, which means that if there are 100,000 shares, they all will be offered 144. So, which means that they can buy 25,000 new shares will be issued. So the company will issue 25,000 additional shares. All right, so each individual will be offered shares in the respect of one to four, which means that if you have four shares, I'll give you one new share. So 25,000 new shares will be issued. Okay, now once we've calculated the number of shares issued, we can now enter this transaction just like we entered a simple, sh simple share issue. So the third step is I can say, bank, the money raised will be 25,000 new shares are issued at $1.25, so that should be my bank. So the money raised by the company will be 31,250. Now how will we break this down? Ordinary share capital, the original value is, we have issued 25,000 shares which are worth $1 each. So 25,000 should go to your ordinary share capital. What's the premium that you have earned? One dollar share has been issued for 1.25. So I can say the share premium that we have earned is 0 0.25. So on 25,000 shares, we've made a 0 0.25 dollars premium. That's the difference between 1.25 minus one. All right, so that should be 6,250. That's the premium that we have made. So this is how I will record my rights issue entry where the money raised is 31,250 that goes into your bank account. Shares issued are 25,000 additional shares are issued. Remember that they're only issued to existing shareholders and the premium that we have made or our gain is 6250 that will flow directly to your equity holders. That's how I've recorded rights issue. All right, I hope you guys understand this example. I'll do another example right now for rights issue where I will change the, the par value of the share. Let's understand that too. Okay, so take a look at this example, guys. So over here, you guys can see the company has an ordinary share capital or issued ordinary share capital, 200,000. But this time the par value of the share is 0 0.5. So each share is now worth 0 0.5. Okay, now the company announces a one for eight rights issue at dollar zero point seven five each. One for eight means that if you have eight shares, you can buy one new share from us. All right, so one new share can be purchased. And you can buy this share at zero point seven five. Let's say the market price of the share was one point one. So again, you're getting a discount and the share is fully subscribed, all right? So all existing shareholders have agreed. Let's follow the same steps over here. Step number one, we need to calculate our existing shares. So for existing shares, uh, again, I will do this. Ordinary share capital is 200,000. This time the par value is 0 0.5. So it means that there are 400,000 shares. Now again, I would like to highlight this point. Many students would make a mistake over here. They would say 200,000 into 0 0.5, there are 100,000 shares. All right, there are not 100,000 shares, there are actually 400,000 shares. Why is that? Because when you issue 400,000 shares and each share is for 0 0.5, that gives you an ordinary share capital of 200,000. All right, so ordinary share capital which is the dollar value divided by par will give you your existing shares. 
Okay, step two, what's the offer? The offer is one for eight. So if there are 400,000 shares, and if I offer one for eight, it means I will issue 50,000 new shares are issued. All right, that's the number of shares that have been issued. And the final step, let's now enter this transaction. So I can say my bank will be 50,000 shares are issued. Remember one share is issued for $0.75. So the money raised becomes 37,500. Now ordinary share capital would be 50,000 shares into its par value. Remember the ordinary share capital is always the original value that is $25,000. That's the original value of the shares. One share is worth $0.5 and the premium that we have made our share premium that would be 50,000 shares times our gain, which is 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5. So we've made a gain of $0.25 per share. So that becomes 12,500. That's our total gain over here. All right. So 0 0.5 is the original value and 0 0.25 is the, is the premium. That's how we record this in our books. So this concept is called rights issue where a company would offer these shares to existing shareholders at a discounted price from the market. And our job is to calculate the amount of rights issue and enter this into our books. So in the next video, I will discuss another type of issue called the bonus issue.